Well, good yum to everyone, and welcome to another episode of What Ted Says, where it's always time to have a fatter wallet and a bigger net worth. That's what we're here for at What Ted Says, to help you get a bigger net worth with social media hacks, entrepreneurship, and financial hacks that will help you make more money. Today, we're going to talk about what should you give for a bar mitzvah gift? That is the question. You know, I can remember 1982, just like it was yesterday. I turned the age of 13 and I had a bar mitzvah and all Jewish boys and girls go through that tradition. Bar mitzvah for girls and bar mitzvah for boys. This is the time when you turn the age of 13 and is the time of tradition, where a girl becomes a woman and a boy becomes a man. And I can remember it fondly that I had distant relatives and friends and neighbors and people that I haven't seen yet in my whole life who came to celebrate this day with me, and inevitably, they were supposed to give me a bar mitzvah gift. The problem was that most people didn't know what to give, so today, I'm here to teach you on what Ted says, what's the right amount to give when you go to a bar mitzvah. All right, everybody, we're back from the temple now, and for the record, sadly, my good friend Bob Ross, not a Jew. Now, that being said, I thought we'd have a little toast because when a boy becomes a man, we have to have a toast. And of course, we've got some of our famous Manischewitz here. Most of you didn't know that, but Manischewitz is Yiddish for Mad Dog 2020. True story. Not true, but it's still, it's Manischewitz. So I'm gonna have a little bit of this. No. <laughs> toast to all of those getting bar mitzvahed and those that have been bar mitzvahed already. Not the finest of wines, but still, Manischewitz it is, must have that come bar mitzvah time. Now, a lot of people want to know, how does the cash happen in a bar mitzvah and why? Why, oh why, do people talk about having 18? And why is 18 such an important number when it comes to a bar mitzvah? Well. Many people don't know that 18 really comes around the word chai, and chai stands for the meaning of life. And the meaning of life is really made up of two letters in the alphabet. There's chet, which stands for the number eight, and there's yud, which stands for the number 10, so that 10 and eight equals 18, or the word chai, which is really for that meaning of life. So for years, for bar mitzvahs, many people would say that giving $18 to somebody in their bar mitzvah is a great gift to give them. And often with bar mitzvahs, even as much as when I got bar mitzvahed, it would be that if four people came from one family, it would be 18 times four or $72, and that would be an acceptable gift. Oi, we're in 2020 here. You need to be able to give more than that. So you know what you don't wanna give on a bar mitzvah? Well, there are a couple things that in my opinion, you shouldn't give at all when it comes to giving a good bar mitzvah gift. So the first thing that you don't wanna give are the kiddish cups. You don't wanna give this to a boy or a girl because what are they gonna do with them? These look, you know, like Raiders of the Lost Ark here. They look old and this is what they will look like 20 or 30 years after your bar mitzvah. It's not a fun gift, it's not a usable gift and even though there are Jewish people will say this is tradition, it's not a tradition that somebody wants for their bar mitzvah or bat mitzvah. The second thing are candles. No young lady who is a girl turning into a woman wants to have candles for her bat mitzvah or a boy who's getting bar mitzvahed. You always say you don't want them playing with matches or playing with fire. Well, certainly that's no good if you give them candles. So candles are not an acceptable gift to give to them for their bar mitzvah or their bat mitzvah. And the third thing that you should not be giving for a bar mitzvah or a bat mitzvah is a sadika box. Look at this. Nothing inside, except a small piece of paper. But this box is not something that a child's gonna want who's turning the age of 13. And really, what does it come down to on what you should give for a bar mitzvah? Well, I have gone through this over and over again, and I can still remember my bar mitzvah, the excitement of being able to open those envelopes and see what was inside. Every time I saw $18, I thought, not a lot of money. 
not something I'm going to be able to use for my future. So you have to think about a bar mitzvah in terms of covering your plate. Now, a lot of people don't want to hear this, but at a minimum, it's generally going to be $75 a head, or it can be $100 per head or more if you have a bar mitzvah that's a little bit fancier. But again, you really want to be thinking about trying to cover your plate to support the child and the family. So if you had a family of four and it was $75, you would give a gift of $300. Now, financially speaking, you always want to give what you can really afford. If you can't afford that, then don't do it. But if you can, that's an acceptable gift and it's a way you should be thinking about the right gift to give for a bar mitzvah or a bat mitzvah. Hey, so thanks for checking out this video here on what to give for a bar mitzvah gift. It is the number one featured snippet on Google right now. Share this video today, maybe a cocktail too of Manischewitz with your friends and subscribe to What Ted Says, where it's always time to have a fatter wallet and get a bigger net worth. Check out more videos right now and I'm gonna leave you with a little Manischewitz, AKA Mad Dog 2020. Prayer. Baruch Taranoi, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Bore, Pari, Agafen. Cheers and Amen.